Hi, it's my yoga rebel and I'm curled up in a nice little comfy ball and quite honestly I'd rather just stay here now that I've done it. It feels pretty good. But what we're going to do today is introduce a yoga pose called the plow. The plow is an inversion and it can be a little bit more challenging so we'll talk you through different phases of it. So you want to be in this position on your mat and the first thing you're going to do is take your hands down and it's a little shift to here. Hands can go right up in your kidney area around your butt. And it's going to come straight up wherever you can. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. And it can start with you just kind of getting your knees up and feeling your comfort zone. Okay, this is a half plow. Start where you feel comfortable. And then practice extending up. You can bring your plow down and extend. It's really powerful for the core. But once you've mastered it and you feel like you're up and you're nice and straight, we start things, we're going to bring the feet down to the mat. And don't be surprised if you don't touch it the first time. It takes a while. We bring it up and we'll do that again. Nice, controlled release. You can bring your hands down if you don't need them. And back up. Always support your back. Getting straight again. Chin is to chest here. We never get off of our shoulder blades. I'm going to take that right foot down, keeping my left foot up. And hopefully I'm going to make contact and hold. Very nice. We're going to bring them back up. Always back together, strong and straight. The left one's jealous. It wants to try. Bringing it down. They can get the mat perfect. And they're coming back up. I know I got weird toes. If you're looking at my four feet, I know I can perch on branches. All right, taking it down. I was born with those feet. And here we go. Now we're nice and relaxed in our plow. Chin is to chest. Everything is lovely. So this is a great one. And it can go into some nice Pilates moves by separating the legs, rolling it down. This does become more advanced. We come right to here. The feet are going to come together, point the toes. Pull it up. So this is how Pilates took the plow and made it something else. And I'm just going to do three more of those. So if you're a plow girl or guy, this might be something that you like. Last one of these. Holding into plow, we're bringing it up, all the way back where we started, and let your knees curl back into your chest, so you can come down in that ball just like we started, nice and relaxed. Go ahead and bring it to a dead bug there, let the back relax. And once you're all relaxed off, you can just get your hands behind your knees and rock it up. And there you go. You can be a plow and you don't even need a farm. Have a good night.